First Alliance, I'm Carly Coos and I'm bringing you today's Christmas Connect. Continuing the theme of the names of Jesus, I chose the name that Jesus most often called himself, which is the Son of Man. So why did Jesus call himself the Son of Man and what is its significance? It ties back to the Old Testament in the book of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 7, Daniel recounts a wild prophetic dream he has and he says starting at verse 13, In my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. So when Jesus calls himself the Son of Man, he's alluding to this chapter in Daniel, um, which is a prophecy about him being the Messiah and about being at the right hand of God. But it's also important to take this name at face value. Jesus was human. He was conceived and um, full of God's spirit, but he was also carried and birthed by Mary and lived a human life. This aspect of Jesus is important because throughout the Old Testament we see rulers and kings and judges that all fall into sin. But Jesus, being human and knowing our weaknesses, did not give in to temptation. Instead, he showed us how and taught us how to live our human lives. And in the end, he sacrificed himself for us. That is why he's humanity's redeemer. So let us rejoice this Christmas season that Jesus came to this world and shared our human experience in order to save us all.